Hi there, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to look at how to read a spring scale. So this spring scale was calibrated earlier. You can see my last video on how to calibrate it. It was calibrated to read the top of the bar to the top of each black line. Okay? Um, so you'll notice, though, that as we look at this, there are no numbers between the 0 and the 1. So I want to talk about how to figure out how far each one of those is. So the basic idea is you uh, recognize how far you're going. You're going from 0 to 1. And then you count the spaces in between, which would be 1 space, 2 spaces, 3 spaces, 4 spaces, 5 spaces. It's important not to count the lines in between because notice there's only 1, 2, 3, 4 lines because if you're starting from here, this is the end of the first space, end of the second, end of the third, end of the fourth. You have to go all the way to the end of the fifth line to get to the, to the number 1. So there's 5 spaces and 1 newton. So if one newton is split up into five spaces, we can figure out each one by taking one newton and dividing by the five spaces. That would give you 0.2 newtons per space. So this line here would be 0 0.2, then another 0 0.2, so 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. If we kept going, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, 2.2, and so on. Uh, the only thing that we have left to do is actually read our thing here. So our the top of our bar is almost to the top of that black line right here, which would be 1.2. So 1.2. So it's a little bit less than 1.2. In the next video, I'll talk about using the estimated digit to make that more accurate.